Hello! The stream is starting. How's everyone doing today? I'm fantastic because I'm streaming. <laughs> Just preparing a bit of what I'm doing, gonna do for path, and then uh, we can actually get started. I've been working on uh, progressing on the Searing X search lately, so probably gonna work on that. Been selling off the invitations, and that's decent money. So I have a few things going at once that I'm working on. I'm also working on. Let's see. The picture. I've also been working on my syndicate today. So, I have a Katarina that is ready, ready to fight. I am not fighting her yet though, because I'm trying to set up my research. Uh, What's, what's it called again? Uh, my research safe house, yes. I'm trying to set up my research safe house. I'm trying to get rid of... Uh, trying to get rid of uh, Vagan, because he's been sitting as the head of research for a while, and I don't want him there. <laughs> I'm trying to get Verici into the top, and hopefully I'm going to get a couple shots at the 1-6 to six white sockets. Hi, Han. <laughs> So the reason why I'm going after the white socket specifically is this. It is worth a lot of money, and I'm hoping to put to get like a leg up on anyone else who is selling a hate forge by making it pure white. That's the idea, at least. <laughs> I hope it works, because I made a really good profit. I made 30, 29 divine on uh, my last hate forge by reselling it. And this one has 30% quality already, and it's uncorrupted. So I feel like this is what I need. This is worth it. I just have to set it up right, and then it'll be worth the 110 that I have it listed for. Oh, I need to go through and reprice most of the stuff that's in here right now, unfortunately, but I'm not going to bother with that. Okay. I'm going to collect some maps up. Gonna make sure that they all have uh, quality. And then I'm gonna get started. You might say, Caitlin, why didn't you get this done beforehand? And to, and, and to that I say, I was asleep. <laughs> I do prefer to get it done beforehand, though. Also, the Chaos Orb... There's like a Chaos Orb uh, reroll... ...thing, like, graphic animation now. I don't know when they added that. It was very recently, because I don't remember it being added. Weird. It's nice, though. Okay, I think most of these are already rolled properly. Yeah, okay. All set up. So... I'm going to work on Searing Exarch, Syndicate, 
And also I'm going to be working on some uh, scepters. Trying to get uh, some more Crucible Passengeries that have nice things on them. So you can make a fair bit of money very quickly with them. And I've just picked Scepters mostly because I'm very familiar with uh, what I need for Scepters. Like I'm very familiar with what uh, builds work well with them and what... Uh, stats are going to uh, function well, so... Plus, also, you can combine things if you uh, only work on weapons of the same type. Because I have- I'm just working on scepters and wands right now. So I have a massive tab of them. I think I showed it in my last stream, but you'll get a chance to see it soon, because I'm going to... Uh, be swapping this out in a moment, now that I have a uh, passive tree on it. And... nada. Really hoping you get some currency stuff. That's like the main hope with uh, doing that. Okay, Syrian so Arch is active. Which means that I just need to go and kill the boss here, and I will get the... Invitation. Also, Awaken Sextants. Those are six chaos apiece. This map is suddenly very valuable. I'm very happy. It's very rare to get that modifier, so I'm going to try to get what I can out of it. If you all have any questions about anything I'm doing, feel free to ask. Try to... Try to explain. But most of this is just grinding. A lot of this is just grinding at this point. Just trying on... Trying to, uh... Build up my cash reserves. Oh, you. Yes, I'm getting sex tents. Okay, you can have fun with that now. I really like this map. I don't know why, but it feels it feels nice to me. It's got a very straightforward layout. So I tend to uh, use it quite a bit. I actually bought 50, 50 lighthouse maps. They're all tier 15s. Which puts them one above the minimum for summoning uh, either the Searing Exarch, the Maven, or the Eater of Worlds influence on the map. I've already actually, uh, I've had the Maven witness this map boss already, so that part has been done. Just going to collect my invitation now. And also kill some stuff along the way, because I definitely want to use the majority of chances that I could get to uh, collect up some sextants. They're very good money. Very, very, very good money. They're, they've gone up to six and a half chaos apiece now, so... It's 33 to a divine, which is great. It's a bit much, but I have kind of an idea uh, of what I ultimately want to go for now. Uh, it's going to be really 
It's gonna be rough, but I'm hoping to get up to 200 divine. Uh, because that is the price of a mage blood, which is the most expensive piece of unique armor in the game. It's, uh... It automatically activates uh, a bunch of your flasks uh, without use consuming their charges. Which, TLDR, basically, uh, I mean, flasks are set up in a way that uh, you get power only when you actually have the charges for them. But this basically ignores charges and just makes all of the effects of your uh, blue, so magic, tier, flasks, permanent. So, things like get a flask charge when you deal a critical strike, not important. Because I'll always... I'll always have the, these effects active. It also means that I can swap things out, like, uh, let's say, uh, the cast speed on, on this one, for example, and uh, I can just put um, all res uh, on it. So just, like, all elemental resistances, and that will free up a huge amount of space on on my gear pieces for that are currently being taken up by resistances. So it can like it can be really stupid powerful depending how you use it. So kinda want one. <laughs> Plus like it's the chase item. <laughs> There's no other item in the game that is much a chase item as this item is. So it's it's the dream. It's the dream of most players who know of its existence. Except for the ones who've kind of given up on it. Because it's very hard to get to, and that's usually me. But... Oh! Thanks for following, Ron. Ron King 34 Welcome to the stream. Okay. This is my dump tab. Minus, like, eh. Minus the few pieces of armor here, most of these are all, like, wands and scepters that I'm working on uh, adding crucible passageries to. This will go with my section of things that are already have passive trees. And I have my new incandescent invitation. Oh no, they've gone down about. They're only 135 now. Oh well. How many do I have? I have two or th three. I have three right now. Should sell some of those. Oh well. Meanwhile, let's work on more. And this time, I'm actually going to remember to add the syndicate because it's not really all the fat effective if you don't add it. The Syndicate is a wee bit complicated, so I'll kind of try to explain a bit of what I'm doing as I do it, because it's probably the one of the hardest mechanics to understand for most players, just because it's... It, it's complicated in a way that is potentially unnecessary. Oh gosh. Do I know you? You wear your eyes. Oh, there's a lot of things going on here. Gotta break into the fortress. Naked fortress. Who is that? That's Riker. Hi Riker. Oh, it's just Riker, okay. Down. The more tightly fit the cogs, the more efficient the machine. Okay, yeah, Choose I don't the right. Yeah, I don't care. Um Depending on where you have your members, you can move them around, and you can... All, all these, like, strings that you see connecting them are basically their relationships. You can build relationships over time, and uh, they will come assist each other. The gears still rotate. They'll come assist each other if, uh, like, one is having trouble, and that means that uh, you can, well, loot the ones that, uh, that come to assist. 
uh, at the end, the the end goal is uh, to create a, a syndicate, which is uh, um, you set it up so that each one of these things they each like give something. Like this one gives glass blowing, um, which ends up being flask quality, and this one gives white sockets. And uh, you can either enter a uh, a syndicate safe house, which is uh, what this progress bar is. Or, once they're set up, you can fight the big boss instead, and you can loot everyone, and then it resets the board. That is uh, that is my intention right now. Oops. I intend to loot everyone. Okay, it you can rank up. And Chimera. kind of murderer. Dress. I approve. Salah. Veiled. Unveil. Lightning. No, nope. not valuable. Yes, my goal is to make a bunch of immortal, oh, immortal assassins very angry with me, but mostly with each other. And then go behind their back and kill their boss. And technically them? Technically? Because uh, whoever are the four heads of uh, the Syndicate when you go and fight her are uh, the ones that uh, pop up in the boss fight itself. Here's the laboratory. Run through. Get to the end. No matter. Let's see if you can earn an and honorable. Oh, how oh, thank gosh. Okay, I've been waiting to see Vegan for a while. Okay, Death's get out of there. Here, please, afraid. please put Breach in there. Yes, okay. That's what I want. Now I'm ready to do a safe, do it the mastermind. Can't we bargain again instead? Because... There's not one on the battlefront, Exile. They're one in dimly lit rooms over maps. Well, I can activate the safe house there. It doesn't matter because uh, I'm going to uh, use up the uh, the charges, so to speak, when I do the mastermind itself. And then next time, uh, like after the boards reset, it keeps the progress there. So it'll probably be at like 95% or something. So I can get another safe house the very quickly. The tapestry we weave is complex and... Or at least that is the idea. Okay. So I've walked far enough from the map that uh, the Searing Exarch's influence has been activated. I've wiped out the Syndicate stuff. And I'm going to kill the map boss. Just because I have a whole lot of uh, boosts on the map bosses right now. They have a very high chance of dropping a lot of things that I like, so I'm gonna do that. I was just taking a gander in at uh, the Harvest Garden, seeing uh, if there's anything like super valuable that's gonna pop out at me, but no. Something in particular I'm working on over there. Well... Good question, Han. Uh, the main thing that I'm looking to get drop um, Oh god, it's it's hard to think and pick up items at the same time. It really... Okay. All of you, go away. <laughs> okay. Uh, I have some Crucible... Crucible... I have some Atlas passive stuff that uh, gives me well, four different things that I'm looking for from the map bosses. One, I've, I have a boosted chance to drop a Conqueror map, which is uh, the four four Conquerors, the Crusader, er, Redeemer, Hunter, and Warlord. Each of their maps are valuable, about 30 chaos apiece, so that's pretty nice. Uh, I have... Uh, a bo increased chance of dropping an Elder or Shaper Guardian map. They're usually about 15 piece, 15 apiece. 
Oh! Kill the Impaler. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. I have a chance of uh, getting a synthesis map to drop, which are usually somewhere between, uh, most of them about 30 chaos, and uh, the best one is a div and a half. And finally, I have a boosted chance uh, for invitations to drop. And invitations are worth somewhere between uh, one chaos and I think eighty. Basically, I, I have a I have a um, y'all y'all are really y'all are really focusing on the sextants. So, uh, I have my sextants here. <laughs> I get the bonus for one map when, uh, the, uh, little altar things pop up. It's just like a modify- a quick modifier. And, uh, unfortunately I only get it for that map. Uh, there used to be levels to the sextants. Uh, three le three tiers, but, uh... That was removed a few leagues ago. They now just have Awakened Sextants. That's it. They're all the same thing, and they're all worth about the same amount of money. No, they're all worth the same amount of money. I don't know, what, I don't know why I said about. This is actually almost enough already for a Divine worth of stuff. So I'm hoping. Hoping to get some more. Hoping to get some more money. Oh my gosh. The picture thanks to your <laughs> What am I gonna do with you all? Salah. <laughs> There's an A in it. They're not sex tents. Blessings. Okay, I'm gonna activate uh, my mastermind. I'm gonna go through that today. Oh my gosh. Y'all are silly. Uh I'm gonna bring. I'm not gonna bring anything with me. I don't think. Should be good. That is fair. It's not as fun. It's the forbidden vault. But what is a sex tent? I don't just say a tent you have sex in because that's not a very good answer. I am very curious no. if that ding that I just heard popped up on the stream or not. There's nothing that makes you feel so alive as death, is there? Now come to me, Joan. Let us see what your soul uh, is made of. Oh shoot, there's something you I definitely want to buy, escape. but I'm not doing that right now. Yeah, I have uh in the background, I have live searches on the uh, trade website, so whenever someone posts something of a pr in like my parameters, it pops up immediately. So I'm currently looking at uh, there's like a specific crucible passive tree that uh, I'm looking for, and basically, when you sell the item, it just sells for a lot more than it usually is worth, and uh, the idea is, like, you buy it, you load out the password tree, and you, and you sell it to the vendors. It's a decent money-making strategy, especially considering that uh, if you use a particular bestiary beast, you can split them. Which means that you can have two... Uh, you get two of the exact same thing with uh, half of the modifiers of uh, the item on each. Except the uh, Crucible Passive Tree doesn't get split, it just gets copied wholesale. So, if you have something that sells for 3 Divine, if you split it, you get two things that sell for 3 Divine. And the Splitting Beast... Well, the Splitting Beast has been has gone up in price a lot, but uh, it's about half a Divine for Splitting Beast. So if I can get it for... If I can buy a 3 Divine thing for 5 Divine, I can make half a Divine profit. <laughs> Used to be a bit more profit than that, but uh, 
people got wise to it. Not that I mind talking about it here or anything, because uh, there is not enough people here for that to matter. Okay. Going into the fight. Hundreds of dead, rotting soulless in the earth. What Man. a meaningless waste. Katarina used to be really scary, but like even even just in this league, but now I kind of kill her regularly, so she doesn't really freak me out anymore. Do you think this will end any differently? Okay. I wouldn't be here if you the syndicate would never have formed, and for that I must thank you. Okay. But you will next phase. Damage phase! No Try not to get grabbed by, shot at any, by anything. Okay. Power the pillar. And over. Fighter again. Death will never Try to avoid You're no the green You're wave of damage Nothing that more. is currently not going. I didn't realize that stopped in the uh, fighting the it lieutenant's phase. Well, that, it'll start soon, though. Yeah, there it is. So it goes uh, in a clockwise manner around, so it's about to shoot at me. Okay. I just need to stay out of the way of the... Uh, of the waves. Ah! And also deal damage to her. Okay, Lieutenant Wave, or Lieutenant Phase, Parichi, goodbye. Those are supposed to, like, the Lieutenants are supposed to actually, like, be dangerous, I'm just... Yeah, I'm kind of trivializing the mechanics here. It's not actually an easy fight, because this is at tier 16, so, like, this is actually generally fairly strong. Like, she's actually a very strong boss, but my build doesn't really care. <laughs> I think the highest damage build I've ever had is 4 million DPS. I... I was a bit distracted for a second on trying to actually figure out- Ah! Trying to figure out what you were actually talking about. Oh, join us. I killed her. It's your chance Stop. to bring back I can anyone bring back. you've ever loved Do or cared about. I can bring your entire order back. Just give me. A... Shut ah. up. Stuff. Thank you. Okay. Now for the moment of truth. By which I mean I'm going to loot everything and then. Ooh. Steph, 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 Steph. We shall see. Most of these drops are going to be pretty subpar. There's one or two things that I'm specifically looking for here that are going to be valuable. And we will see those in a second. I'll probably be doing them last. Each one of these rooms here has, like, a reward in it of some sort that corresponds to one of the lieutenants. Okay. Uh, here's Verici. So this is the one that I care about the most and I've been setting up. I'll do that one last. I'm gonna go through, smash through all the other other sections. That is not even worth picking up. Some of these rewards are not really... Oh. Some of these rewards are not really scaled to, like, mo the modern gameplay, but... Some of them are like this. That is valuable. That is a bonus. Did I already do this one? No, I didn't. Trap stash! Eight seconds to grab one item out of this. Okay. Um, They're all trash! Okay, I guess... I'll take... Ugh, something's touch, I forget the name of it. 
No, Callista's Grace. Okay, hmm. and corruption. Oh. Well, never mind. Okay. So I got Actually, I got a Cinder Swallow Flask here, which uh, is going to be worth an okay amount. And an unidentified ones goes for 55, it looks like. So, probably going to uh, put that one up soon. I'm going to leave some stuff in my miscellaneous to deal with later. Is this a Viv Insect? No, it's a Void Eye. Okay. Beastary Scarab goes over there. Tiny st oh, Tiny Stry, I'll deal with that in a moment. Oh. Ooh, this is Hillox. Modify Flask quality to 28%. Um, my Rocket's 24%. I think my... I'll come back to that, actually. Ooh, Winged Breach Scarab. That's worth money, too. Yep. 55 Chaos as well. That's half a div worth of Scarabs. Oh. Correct. Okay, I missed something. Hunter Mints. Um, yeah, kind of maybe worth something. I don't know. Okay, so I have the last quality, Tiny's Trial, and um, the White Sockets left. I'll do the one I've been waiting for first. After I put these away. Okay, Hate Forge. Okay, going to change the colors on it. Because if there's a white socket, you can't add more white sockets. Oh, wrong one. Oh god, where is it? Is it this one? <laughs> nope! <laughs> oh no. No. Uh, is it this one? Yes, okay. <laughs> I get one to six. I really would appreciate four. That is incredibly disappointing. <laughs> I was really hoping that I would get two tries because this is a lieutenant, but I guess he got nerfed. That sucks. Oh well. I can make more Varichis. There will always be more. Let's see. Do we have any do we have competition right now? Or the competition right forge? There's only one up right now. And I know this one's better than mine. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It'll be fine, though. It's not a big deal. The good thing is, I, I can... I'm decent at farming this content, so I'll just bring another one. I'll just, just create another syndicate to encounter. Uh, okay, so... My flasks, my... No, not send as well. I want my bottles. Bottle Faith. Bottle Faith is at 26%. Uh, 2% is not worth it. My diamond flask is at 22. Hmm. So the percentage is only going to get 0.1 of a second per. So this is only going to bring from 8.7 to 8.9 seconds, which uh, that's not enough to worry about. I'll I'll work I'll do one of the 20% uh, ones. Oh, this is a tiny trial, darn it. I want where are you? There you are. Okay. Can upgrade uh, my granite flask. Okay. Nice. 
that is slightly more valuable than before. Actually, it's quite a fair bit more valuable, considering the item level is really high on it. Okay, Tiny's Trial. So, you put a uh, normal, t a normal uh, quality item in, and uh, you have essences to craft. You have 30 seconds to use all the crafting materials that are free, basically. What I'm hoping to do, and I hope not to roll over it, because I've definitely gotten it and kept clicking through without realizing it because I was tired. Um, I'm looking to get plus one to maximum power charges on this. That makes the value of this go up from like two chaos to like a divine. Specifically hunter helmets or warlord helmets are for that. Okay. Um... Nope. Nope. No! I didn't mean to do that! Oh well. Darn it. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm done in here, I believe. Okay, I'm gonna orb a binding to give it more sockets. And I will deal with that later. I have I have a lot of hunter helmets that I'm working on currently. Okay. Oh, right. Gotta make a portal. Okay, I guess it's time to set up another mastermind encounter. Actually, do I have lessons? Oh yeah, so my safe house is already is still set up for research, but this is only gonna be a level one. Uh, lieutenants, so they can. There's three different levels. The higher the level, the uh, better the rewards, and uh, the better chance that, uh, um, or not the better chance, the uh, more progress you get to the mastermind when you complete it. Uh, Lee Francis, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Uh, I'm gonna go after Vrici again because I really want those four white sockets it's uh it's hard to get white sockets and uh really really want it because like there's ways to like guaranteed get them but they're really expensive and this is like the cheapest way of doing it so i'm hoping to uh spend it i mean it's it's the pr it's the same principle of business as it always is spend as little as humanly possible to make something as expensive as possible so I'm hoping I'm gonna go through. I'm gonna keep doing uh, syndicate so that I can get. Oh my Excellent. gosh, there's so many screens. So I can get Vrici to appear. Uh, currently, I don't know where any of the uh, people are. I don't know who is who. So I just know that the board's been reset. Uh, random people have been placed in random spots. So we'll see. I have to uh, go through and do. Uh, if I do one uh, set of encounters, so one map, I will unveil. I'll get an idea of who, but half of these people are at least. So I'll be able to find Verici and slowly move him into the right uh, section. Cause uh, you have to like con basically you're in at least lore wise you're convincing them to move over to another area, uh, like threatening them, <laughs> or you'll kill them. <laughs> um. They're immortal, though, so it's more just annoying to them to get killed and resurrected than anything else. Ugh. Oh, water. Everyone remember to drink water. Okay, so I'm probably going to keep working on that. At least that's the plan. I don't think there's anything else I could do with my time that would actually be more efficient. Hmm. I have something else I wanted to do. I'm trying to remember what it was. Uh, I can do invitations. Those are fairly simple, thankfully. 
honestly, I should probably work on invitations because I've gotten my I've got my Searing Exarch progress. It's going to be another, on average, about 27 more maps before I can uh, get my next invitation. So yeah, it's not something I need to work on immediately. What I'm going to work on instead is the formed invitations. Actually, I don't need that many. This is a fight against all four Shaper Guardians at once. And it tends to yield about 125 Chaos worth on average. I only have to do four maps each time. And I have a lot of each Guardian map, which is why I said I should definitely do it. <laughs> Okay, let's grab some, oops, not that many, maps. Actually, I have some of these prepared already. Okay, I think these are all prepared maps. Nope, not necessarily. Okay, go through. See which ones are dangerous to me. Oh my gosh. I'm looking for uh I'm looking for red text. If it has red text, I don't do it. That's like a specifically something I've set up for myself to make sure that uh I don't get sent anything anywhere that is too dangerous for me. Uh, okay. Nope, not hexproof. Not doing that. That prevents most of my dam- or not most of my damage, but it prevents a lot of my damage if things are hexproof, because I have... Seven hexes? I think? <laughs> no. I have six hexes of one mark, and I can hex hexproof things with one of my hexes, and my mark ignores hexproof. So I would only have um, punishment, which is more damage uh, when something's below 50% life, and my assassin's mark, which it does just extra damage, basically. Which is kind of a problem, because... Enfeeble is like some of my biggest protection since it reduces the damage that I take by th by thirty percent from most uh, normal or magic monsters, and then rare or unique ones by nineteen percent, which is a lot. Plus the temporal chains, which just reduces action speed, so they move slower, they attack slower. Just it makes everything less dangerous if I can hex it. So it's kind of a big deal. Oh, I need to remember to check the last ones. Okay, that's why we check. Oh god, that's a terrible map. Okay. And, oh. Extra projectiles, don't do that. Reflection, can do that. Wait. <laughs> what? What is your big deal in response to? <laughs> oh, I should probably grab some. I should grab a scarab. Uh, what scarab should I bring with me? Einhar. Okay. Time to go in order. Minotaur, Phoenix, Hydra, Chimera, Invitation. And I have multiple sets, so this will be good. I try not to spend too much time in each map because uh, ideally you want to be able to push through One of my as many things as possible. As many maps as possible at once for the invitations because your main goal and the main amount of money, the main money that you make is from doing the invitation itself, not the actual maps you do, so you kind of don't want to spend too much time here. But I am going 
to be upgrading crucible passive trees and doing syndicate stuff while in these maps, so that'll help. Though I notice that... Ooh. Why am I being hit so hard? Something's odd. And I've lost Don't my train of thought. Oh, yeah. I uh, only have two sections of the Syndicate active right now for some reason. Um, I say for some reason, but the reason is that I have a safe house active which has erased my third one. So I might actually have to do that safe uh, house. Always like hope that it plays too I choose. Violence is power. <laughs> no. Death. Wait, yes. I'm with you to intervention. Violence is power. You're more savage. Intervention. This one okay. Stop more attacking me. Stop attacking me while I'm reading. I kind of wish there was some way that, like, it paused while you were interacting with, uh, with menus and stuff. Not necessarily, like, your inventory, just, like, the Crucible Tree or something like that. Just things that are, like, you have to stand there and look, like, actually read things in the middle of a map. It just sucks to have to, like, clear everything out. Like, yeah, I'm gonna have to clear everything out around here to make sure that I'm not in danger when I'm upgrading my passive tree. Okay. Is anyone else gonna, gonna bother me? Yep. Go away. Okay. Now I can upgrade this safely. Yeah, you, you have to press and hold on the button, and if things attack you while you're doing it, then you can kind of stop and you can kind of attack them, but, like, you can't... This The, the big Crucible Forge screen kind of blocks you from attacking, to some extent, which is a royal pain in the ass. It's really... Mm, and that's why I put up a portal before I do every Crucible thing. It's kind of a pain in the ass that you have to uh, worry about things murdering you while you're just looking at, uh, while you're reading things, or you're, like, powering up the Crucible. Well, we'll see what happens. Ow. I'm never- I'm not gonna get killed by any of the Guardians, but I am going to get killed by random Crucible monsters, because the tuning is... Fucked, to say the least. That one shot me from full health. Oh, it was Lunaris, of course. Rude. I can kill the Uber Shaper, but put me up against one rare with Lunaris uh, bo buffing it, and suddenly, nope. Something definitely feels wrong, though. I don't know what. I'm gonna have to look. I'm gonna have to figure out what that is, though. Why am I out... Oh, no. Why am I out of flash charges? I shouldn't be out of flash charges. I have a... What is going on? Oh. Okay, I need to figure out... Okay, I have 75% reduced curse effect, which is bordering on hexproof, and 75% reduced aura effect, which is why my shield is 300 lower than it should be. And my armor, oh, my armor's supposed to be up at 80. Okay, yeah, so that's what the problem is. <laughs> I need to... If you think I'm good, I, need a white, I need to blacklist yeah. more modifiers, I'm I think. No. Weak I've seen you. Strong and reasonable. I like you, Exile. I like you too, Jorgen. You're very friendly, except when you're trying to murder me. Or... Yeah. Yeah. That's... No. That, that's about it. Well, stop. Stop murdering me. You know I'm skipping past that. Grove! This way. 
Okay, I'm looking for... So you see how there's like a gray name, a white name, and a blue name? I'm looking for an orange name, and I have never seen one before. But I need to find three for the challenges. Oh, that looks like there's no more here. Nope. Okay. Darn it. Whatever. Okay, now to stomp the Minotaur. I'll satisfy you, Maven, don't worry. Ow. Yeah, I'm being hit by some of his most powerful attacks, and he's not killing me. Which really, I gotta say, shows how badly tuned the, uh, the stuff is in, uh... Just, like, they always make- they always overtune the stuff in the current league. I don't know why they think it's fun to just have, like... Oh, the players need to get stomped by the new league me mechanic every time. No, that's not... Why is that supposed to be fun? Why is it supposed to be fun for us to get stomped? Like, can't you just give us a normal challenge? It, like, slowly... It slowly created this arms race in Path of Exile, where... We, people have to find, like, ever-increasingly broken builds so that they can compensate for the increase in difficulty, and then the devs have to increase the difficulty to compensate for the ever-increasingly broken builds. It's kind of a, a vicious cycle, and it's not not amazing. Okay. Level you next. Sorry, I don't mean to complain. It's not actually that big a deal, it's just moderately annoying. Okay. I'm gonna skip the Syndicate missions, actually. And I'm not going... No, I'm gonna use Fortune Favors to add a random thing to my maps. One of my captors so I intend to go try to take this slow. No. Let's try that again. I'm trying not to take this slow. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I want to ideally rush through things and get to the boss, kill the boss, move on. Because I have, like, 12 of each Guardian map, and I don't need to spend a bunch of time on each. The returns are not amazing. It's actually making me wonder if I should stop with the Crucible Forge, seeing if I have, as I have to clear it everything first to be to be able to actually activate it. But so much stuff is just hanging out around it and like I wouldn't care about like one random mob ever except in this scenario where it like if it's attacking me while I can't see it like I'm just I can take a lot of damage really quickly like I've definitely been killed while powering up the Crucible Forge before just because something is attacking me and it's hard to deal with it oh no I recognize that giant spidery form. If you just like spiders, look away for the next, like, 10 seconds. Neffa. Die, Neffa. Okay, it's gone. Okay. Ooh. 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 I should do blueprints at some point. Ah, Heist League. One of my favorite ever leagues. It was so much fun. Its content's still good. Yep, Spooderman is dead. Your <laughs> angry neighborhood Spooderman. Angry, angry, angry Spooderman. Why am I, why am I even bothering with this? 
I should probably kill the large groups, but I don't care about the random strong boxes. Fortunately, strong boxes drop basically nothing. Their only value is to uh, summon creatures that um, you can use uh, in conjunction with like other benefits or buffs that you've given the map. It's just meant to throw extra bodies at the map. Increase the number of things on the screen. Which, yes, is the goal, to increase the number of things on the screen. <laughs> Despite the fact that it just makes everything more hectic. The more things you can kill, the more chances for money you have. Okay. Phoenix! The fights must never end! Temple tears! No. Ooh. He was just, like, I'm pretty sure he was just about to charge the, um, his uh, explosion. So I wanted to kill him fast. Before he got me. Ooh, 40 additional chaos orbs. I'm going to level you up. Okay. I'll take that. Dump folder, go there, okay. Hydra! One of my captives wore many faces. I kinda like the Hydra because it's really straightforward where to go. It's just one straightforward run every time. Follow the path, and you'll get there. No dawdling, no looking. Though I guess... I guess all the Guardians are like that, come to think of it. Since they have dedicated maps, unlike the... Uh, sorry, all the Shaper Guardians are like that. Because they have dedicated maps, unlike the um, Elder Guardians or the Conquerors. Because the Conquerors, you kill the map boss, and then there's a portal to their, to their um, Citadel afterwards. The... Uh, Elder Guardians are the same, but the Shaper Guardians have, like, I mean, the Ford of the Phoenix, the Maze of the Minotaur, etc. Kind of makes you wonder why they chose to do it with one thing, but not any of the others. Because, like, I understand the Conquerors are different. They were released, like, years after the Shaper Guardians. But the Elder Guardians were released at the same time. Like, that's those two systems were side by side. So I don't really know. I don't know why it's like that. Interesting design decision. Okay, I gotta power this up. Running all the way over to the chaos orbs. Then I can sell it for chaos orbs. Make money. I need to buy more. Uh, divine things, though, so I can, uh... Items with crucible passive trees that sell for divine, so I can power those up instead. They're not really making good profits per hour on, uh, just this, unfortunately. And should be... Oh! Whoa, no, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Veiled Chaos Orb. That's valuable. Also, what did I drop? Chaos. That is the one issue with attacking and then teleporting, is you don't always save the loot. Fight, fight, fight! But I am kind of trying to get the experience partially. Yeah. Okay, I don't want all of this. It's like, oh, all this stuff is high-level gear, high-level influenced gear. This stuff must be good. Well, no. I appreciate what you're trying to do, Loot Filter, but you're not succeeding. Speaking of which, for anyone who actually plays the game as well, uh, refresh your, like, refresh your Loot Filter, like, update it when if you have a chance. 
it's I know I usually only update my loot filter once a season or once a league. Uh, I went through and I updated mine recently. Yeah, uh, it's uh, the algorithm in the uh, loot filter website for the defaults um, kind of changes things based on current market prices. So as the league evolves, like the market changes and it kind of settles into what it's going to be for that league. So like if there's some way of get like easily getting like something really powerful, that thing is going to be really cheap that league, etc., etc. And then it will set up like the value of items based on that. Which is kind of nice. Ooh, gem cutters. Let's see. Oh, this is a monster. I forgot. I forget that those are technically monsters. Oh, I don't want any of that. It's alive! It's a living... Or... Technically, actually, I don't even think that you have to kill the monsters that come out of it. I think when uh, the orb explodes, technically the entity dies, which means that it opens the strong box, even though you haven't killed the stuff that came out of the orb. It's a weird system that it considers those to be like entities, because it pulls it pulls its. Uh, um... Okay, no, I don't like that. It pulls the uh, uh, possible monsters in the map out of a list of things that are already in the map itself. Um, like to put, like to populate the strong box, like it populates based on the map. So uh, it for some reason picks those. I don't know why. Uh, no. Oh. <gasps> Oh, that's a tier one chaos res fractured. Okay, I'm gonna keep that. Did I walk by something? I feel like I walked by something. You know what? I don't care. I will make money elsewhere. So I think I need like pick some content that's a little bit more interactive than just grinding. I don't know, I, I'm not 100% sure like what to stream all the time, like, like, like for Path. I'm, I'm considering branching out a little bit um, into games that are like in similar genres or have like similar player bases. Uh, specifically, uh, I've been looking at Project Zomboid and Seven Days to Die. Mainly because Project Zomboid is something I'm really interested in, and it has like a really brutal, um, like, system to it. Um, with Project Zomboid, like, uh, just like uh, real life, it tries. It's like a zombie. It, it's a zombie game, but it tries to simulate uh, real life to some extent, uh, where like you can hurt different parts of your body and like you can get infected you need to drink water there's temperature there's food like it's meant to be like a kind of punishing but accurate uh, survival game and that kind of fits a game that is as punishing as this so i think there's some overlap in uh the uh people who played the two different games plus seven days to die is also fairly punishing in the same way uh for the same reasons, but, like, also for different reasons? Yeah, I'm... I, I think it'll be worth it. The main reason why uh, Seven Days is punishing and, like, why uh, I kind of also want to go into it is because uh, we've been waiting... I don't know how long now for the new update to come out. And it's coming out next Monday. So I'm very, very excited to play it and stream it because apparently they've they've changed the entire world, like all the world generation and like uh, I've heard just I, I read the patch notes and like the patch notes aren't all that long, surprisingly. 
but I'm excited. Like, it's it sounds like they've revamped pretty much everything that exists in the randomly generated world. And, I mean, that's awesome. <laughs> so I intend to play it. Plus, like, Seven Days to Die is one of my favorite games. It has been for a long time. But uh, it's also, like... I also joined it when... Uh, I bought it when uh, it was, like, early in... Well, early in early access. <laughs> so it was very polished, and I played the game a lot back then. And, well, if you play a game a lot in early access, it has a tendency of... Uh, making you kind of not interested in it later on, even when, like, the updates... Even when something updates, like... When, like, the different things get fixed and some things get easier and some things get harder and whatever, like... You can burn out on the game before, like, it's even finished, which is kind of sad. And that's definitely the situation with Seven Days with some people I know. Because, uh... Well, it's been out a while. And by out, I mean it's been, it's like been in early access for a very long time. Years. The better part of a decade, actually. Which is... The problem I think most people know by now with the early access system is that there's no reason for people to leave it. Because it gives you... It gives you, like, an excuse to be like, Oh, well, the game's still in progress, so that's why it's still really buggy. No, it's been six years. You you need to fix your game. That is... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Seven Days is a lot better than that. Like, I understand why they haven't released it, because it's not done. And I realized why they entered Early Access when they did, because there was, like, three of them in the studio, and they tried to make a game that was beyond their purview. Um, it's not now. Like, they've built up a team, and, like, I genuinely really respect uh, what they've made out of Seven Days, but when they started, they they weren't really ready for it. <laughs> not ready for what it would eventually become, and, like, how big and awesome a game it is now. But I'm glad that they've gotten people to, uh, they've gotten new, uh, employees, and those new employees have, like, really made the, uh, really made the game just, just so much nicer than it was. They've made a real, really amazing game, because, like, they brought in people who text, who, like, do environment textures, for example. And, like, environmental textures are pretty hard to deal with. Like, 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 like it, it falls under 3D modeling and trying to make, like, a nice interactive environment. Because, like, they're trying to make a pretty 3D survival game, like, as well as, like, adding horror elements and stuff. And, like, they have, like, a really gritty aesthetic and stuff, and they're trying to make it exist in a way that both looks good and runs well. That's not easy. Because they certainly had some stuff in, in the beginning where it's like, hey, this is pretty. Why is my computer running like a potato? Oh, the game's not optimized. <laughs> they've optimized a lot now, though. And, like, they've also made it prettier. It's... I can't say enough how much uh, I love it. Okay, this time uh, there's only only one of these, if I remember correctly. Only one garden has killed me so far when doing the formed, and that is the Minotaur because the bitch snuck up on me because he has a tunneling attack. And the tunneling attack is really annoying. I hope I'm far enough away. Okay, far away. Yeah, it basically... It makes a mockery of any gaming computer. Or at least it used to. 
I don't know what it's going to be like in uh, Alpha 21, which is the new update, but hopefully better. Eh? Hey! There's just something passively trying to kill me. I'm just standing on. Don't appreciate. Uh, I'll take the belt, take the belt, take the belt. There's three identical heavy belts. I'll use those for something, I'm sure. Uh, convoking Wand, Cowrie Scepter, and Orchid Map. Okay. The main loot from that is this. The Crescent Splinters, because these are worth about 27 Chaos apiece. So that's going to bring me to like 130-ish. That's, that's not how math works, but you know, you know what I mean. Things in my dump tab. And I'll put you over in my dump tab as well. Okay. And we begin the cycle over again. Minotaur! Oh. One second. <laughs> Fragments to increase quantity of items dropped. Scarabs to increase pack size. And Minotaur. One of my captors felt no You are just another stumbling corpse. Ah, uh, yes, the stranger. I really like Delirium. It's what adds, like... It adds a bunch of extra monsters to the, to the experience, and just makes everything harder, so it's kind of like a vanity thing to be able to beat it. Here it's not a vanity thing. Here it's just for, like, extra loot, but... It can be a vanity thing. That's I mean, that's why I'm doing a 100% Delirious series on the YouTube channel, where I do... I do, like, a map of each tier at 100% uh, Delirium. And that gives like an 85% damage debuff to me. Which feels impressive. I would love eventually to end the series by doing the uh, the Shaper Guardians at 100% Delirium. That'd be nice. Don't know how well that would go, but we'll see. I'm a bit worried I won't be able to like complete the tier 16 one. Because, like, it's getting, it's kind of starting to be a slog to get through the maps now. But we'll see. I will resolve one issue right, right now. Come to me, friend. Huck, hi. And he will, he's my own personal little aura bot. He's giving me my Grace Aura for additional evasion. And he's giving me combat ready for damage. Attack, attack speed. Oh, cast speed and movement speed. Okay. I thought it was only attack speed for a second. I was like, no! But I like cast speed! My build really likes it. Okay, and... Eh. Uh, anyone who dislikes spiders, look away. I'll tell you when you can look back. Neffa. I'd like to make an agreement with you to go away, to not come back for the stream. I killed you twice. I killed you three times now. Three times? Twice? I don't know. Ow! Okay, it's, the spider's gone, as well as I am. But that's okay. The The snakes are just eating Huck. <laughs> he doesn't mind. Oh, I feel so slow without my frenzy charges. Ooh, Onyx Amulet. Ah, it's a... Uh, corn chart. 
Kind of charts are really nice. They're good for leveling. No problem. I I didn't notice. Like I I thought I saw him for a second, but I wasn't sure. And then I noticed him bouncing. I was like, okay, yeah, no, that's definitely definitely Nefa. Definitely need to call out for a warning. I'm starting to actually learn their names now. There's, I think there's four different bosses in Crucible. There's Nepha, who's the spider. There's Metalaton, who uh, is... Looks like a tree if a tree was made of metal. I know it's a really dumb, like, explanation, but <laughs> that's basically what he looks like. Uh, there's a big demon looking thing I forget his name and there's oh what's his name a big big beefcake he looks like the um actually it's gonna be hard to explain what he looks like there's a really fucking big big monster that uh, likes to waddle around and beat you with a stick that's the other boss who's talking Oh, the envoy. Constancy swept across like a veil, and all beneath its shadow was cool. Come. <laughs> Did I interrupt? God, he's weird looking. This is uh, the Maven's envoy. This is like he and he like. Oh my gosh, does he have? Un. Oh, he's a floating robe. I thought he was had there was like stars under there, but that's the ground. He's like animate armor. That's really cool. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna take a picture of that. <laughs> okay, Minotaur. I'm slow. Okay, that thing where he dives underground like he just did and pops up is probably his most damaging attack he has. Yep, there he goes again. Ow. And then the slam. The falling rocks also hurt. Oh! A formed! A battle for the ages with exotic rewards to match! Uh, these rewards aren't particularly exotic. Ah, uh, formed. So these... I mean, these are what I'm running right now. They're half a divine each. Which, come to think of it, seeing as I get, like... Like, a hundred and... How much? Okay, how much are the fragments before I say this? Twenty-five. I'm actually not making a huge amount of money on the invitation itself. That's unfortunate. I guess it's things besides the, uh... Hmm. Things besides just the splinters. I guess it makes sense that, like, I mean, more people get get stronger and able to fight them, so it's dropped in strength. Or it's dropped in value. But that one I did get for free, so I'm going to get full value out of that one. Oh, I already have a Carnage Heart. Uh... You're going in gear, then. How is this doing? Oh, yes, I still need to work on that. Okay, Minotaur down. Next is Phoenix. One of my oh, I forgot. I wasn't paying attention to it. So, uh, you need to kill ten map bosses to activate a basic invitation. Um, anything that's tier 14 and beyond. And I have a passive that it's a 10% chance to uh, have a witness, like, to, like, progress by witnessing a map boss that's at random, basically, uh, when you witness a map boss. And while the, uh, the Shaper Guardians that I'm fighting don't actually count towards that, like, count towards the count of 10, uh, they can still trigger the uh, additional um, witness from my passives. That is nice, because that also gives you a chance to get Crescent Splinters, which are the valuable thing. 
a much, much, much less than if you're doing the formed, for example. But, eh. The good thing is, like, if you're doing enough maps, it almost becomes sustainable to keep doing, like, just switching between the formed and the twisted. Um, basically, uh, Elder Guardian and Shaper Guardians uh, invitations. Because, like, you get the drops infrequently, like, the in the uh, invitations, and you only really need it to drop infrequently. And every time you get one to drop, you are saving a lot of money, so... We didn't get any. We didn't get any dangerous uniques this time. That's good. Oh. Um. Okay. I don't even know what happened there. I think I was standing on the discredited ground, taking chaos damage. Wasn't paying attention, and then got hit a few times. Be nice if, like, there was a death recap. Hint, 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 hint. GGG. G, G. You could, you could give us a death recap. Then we wouldn't have to keep guessing. I don't know why they haven't done that in like all the years that this game has been out. It's kind of a nice thing to be able to know what killed you. Imagine like it would be especially punishing if it happens in Hardcore, because, like, I mean, you die to something, but you have no idea what it is, and to, like, lose your Hardcore character and, like, still have absolutely no idea what happened to you, like, that just sounds... I mean, that's... It sounds awful, and that's why I don't play that mode. Because, I mean, I don't really want to spend a ton of time gearing up a character and becoming stronger, only to get killed by something that I either don't see, don't expect, or can't prevent. Because <laughs> a lot of deaths are skill-based. That's I'm not going to say they're not. A lot of them are. But some of them are not. And any deaths that aren't skill-based in a game that has a hardcore mode is bad. Just randomly dying is not a fun mechanic. Fight! 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 The rip of the nope. infinite. Something I'm Where really nervous terrorist. about if I do the uh going back Oh my gosh, I got another one. <laughs> An invitation to a true display of ferocious survivalism. One of the things I'm worried about with uh, doing the 100% uh, Delirium on the Shaper Guardian specifically is, like, the Phoenix creates uh, multiple, well, Phoenixes around the area, and they actually do a lot of damage, each of them. So you kind of have to keep up with killing them if you don't kill him immediately like I've been doing. And that's going to be dangerous because... I'm not going to be killing him immediately. I have no chance of killing him immediately if I'm at 100% delirium. He'll just be too strong. Okay, more accurately, he'll be too tanky. He won't be too strong. He'll still have to be the same strength. Kind of reminds me, there's a... Uh... There's an option in the passive tree that I can take that will it will it will make things potentially easier but it has a trade-off. Where is it? Uh, so there's it, there's there's twin ones, well spring of creation and dance of destruction. So dance of destruction is the one I'm actually thinking of. 
Uh, it increases the damage that all monsters in your maps deal by 25% more. Sorry, it gives 25% more damage to all creatures, which is terrifying, but it also reduces their life by 25%. So if you're able to, to fight, if you're able to deal with it, like this would allow you to kill things a lot faster. And that's kind of something I've been wondering about for the 100% uh, uh, Delirium, because, like, it might be needed. But then, like, like if I'm trying to overpower the Phoenix, for example, but, like, the other issue is that then his ads become stronger, so I have to overpower him if I have that. Uh, it's It's rough. The other option is Wellspring of Creation which reduces the damage by 25% uh, of all monsters, but it increases the life by 50%. And with the damage reduction debuff that you get from 100% Delirium, that's a lot of life! <laughs> so... Eh. I don't know. I ha I've had those two things in my mind for a while, those two different passives. They've been available for use for quite a few leagues, and, like, I've considered them... Every league, I look at them at least once, and I'm like, would this help me? And you know what? I don't know. <laughs> they seem kind of dangerous. Also, I have all my passives in use right now, so there's that too. But, I mean, I can always find passives somewhere. Why? Oh, okay. Okay, I moved some of my pass points over here to allow for those uh, plants that I was talking about earlier in the garden to appear. I don't know if I'm going to get them, though. They're pretty damn rare. Oh, I've been going for an hour and a half. I think I'm going to do this... Uh, to the Chimera Hydra and to the other invitation, and then I'm going to take a break. That's that's what I'm thinking. One of my captives wore many faces. You are destined to bring ruin to all you I do want to. Uh, um, my focus right now is to stream often but not necessarily for a long time so i also could potentially end the stream but i'm not sure I'm not sure how i'm going to be feeling after this so i'll get there and see okay i'm going the wrong way the stars garden an envious life and invades and okay orange name orange name Orange name, orange name, orange name. Oh my gosh. Delirium adds so much stuff. This is why I like it. Yeah. One of these days I'll find them bosses. I have to find three of them, which is the most punishing thing, too. Like, it's not just one. Apparently there's, like, some there's a chat channel for sharing them, so I'm probably going to be doing that just so that I can share them with other people. And also other people can share them with me. <laughs> but I don't really want to uh, spend too much time on it, because I don't really do gardens natively, so I don't have the stuff to make them spawn often, which is just going to make it take a lot longer for me to actually find the stuff I want. And the more time I spend with those passives in that spot, the less time I spend with it in like the money-making passives that I've set up. Not that the garden passives can't make money, but they can't make money if I don't spec into them and I've only specced into them a tiny bit. You kind of have to commit. And I'm not very committed yet. Oh 
Oh, there goes my delirium. Oh, well. Oh my gosh. Has a lot of fractured items. Oh no. I want I want to look at the items. <laughs> Stop attacking me. Ow. Bitch. Eh. Okay, hold on. I need to find some place that's actually safe to look at that stuff. You know what? You know what a safe place is? My hideout. I'll just kill the Hydra and then I can look at them. I think I still have space. Yeah, I've still some space. Okay. Okay, the Shaper attacking is yet another reason why I don't like ha why I don't like having the Crucible Forge make you stand there. It's very hard to avoid it because if you go outside the circle, the it activates the forge at the percent you're at, and that kind of sucks because that's less progress you can get in the map. Because like that's how much like XP you're gonna get from this particular fight on your cru your crucible passageways. Ideally, I want to get as much as I can. Okay, come on. Last thing. Come out of the ground. Okay, I should probably... Yeah, I'm gonna run back to... Uh... Run back over to here. To sell stuff. Okay, you want that, and you wanted some cards. Money! Money is always good. Okay, I'll sell this. Cool. Oh, and I will throw all of these fractured items into my dump tab, and I will deal with them later. I don't need to deal with them right now. Crafting. There you go. Okay. Time to kill the Hydra. Oh, whoa. I was right here when I made the portal, and it's over here. Um, hmm. I really hope that desync isn't going to affect me in the fight. Hmm. Witnessing a good pitch. Not going to strangle. Ah! She put vines on me. The void protects its children. The void protects its children. The grip of the infinite. A cavalcade of violence yeah. awaits. Don't vine me after I finish the fight. That's just rude. <laughs> oh, I'm very popular today, apparently. Okay. These are the basic invitations I was talking about. These ones. Did I get any progress? No, I didn't get any extra progress yet. Not since the first one. And you can go in the dump tab. And one more, and I will be done this set. I do actually think that uh, after this, uh, after this uh, 
last uh, Guardian map and this last invitation, I'm probably going to call it for the day, actually. I want to keep my streams kind of shortish for now. If you can call two hours short. I'm also trying not to go randomly quiet. It's definitely hard to keep talking about just things. Starting to understand that. This way, exile. Darn it. Garden's devoid of what I want. Hello, envoy. See you. Ever tug all life like hounds on leashes to the same terminus. Yet gleefully they can just quietly talking in the background. Surrounded like as the explosions go off. Like I do I appreciate that he has some philosophy for me. But I can't fucking hear you. I have, like, an average of six explosions a second. It's kind of hard to hear over that. Actually, I guess I could maybe increase the NPC volume, but I don't know. I've also heard everything he has to say over and over and over and over, so there's that too. He only has, like... I don't know. If only he like he only has like five sets of lines. Eh? Explosions? Bad explosions. Okay. Oh. Wait. What? Oh shoot! <laughs> I put my scepter away that I was leveling. No. Where did I put you? Oh god. Oh no. Oh no, where did I put you? Oh, here you are, okay. Okay, I was a bit worried having to find that again. I wonder if I can, like, search by passive if there's a crucible passenger or not. That'd be nice. Okay. Probably need like three more maps after this before I can fully level this one. Uh, no danger boys, I guess, today. And by danger boys, I mean unique monsters. <laughs> Definitely some hate shepherds, though. I don't appreciate those, but they'll be okay. Is there still a monster in the ground somewhere? Okay. I find it kind of funny that uh, their idea for a league can basically be boil boiled down to we made stainless steel monsters. And you can we make you get them the really hot. The I appreciate y'all coming out for the stream today. It's nice to have viewers. I had so many viewers today. I had like five people watching at the same time. I usually have like one to zero. 
To be fair, I don't like. I haven't really been advertising that well, I don't think. But. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. No. Go away, Shaper. Okay, three more over here, and Chimera right here. Time bends to my will. Okay, check the clouds. For the Chimera, there he is. Knock him down. Okay, snakes come out. Or three rounds of snakes, I think. Or maybe. That was the second round. No, there's more than, than three rounds. Three. Okay, there's four rounds. Because that was there were there's one unique one in the far right hand door. Uh at the end of each stage. Oh. God damn it. <laughs> Immediately jumps into a cloud. That stretches the sanity of the mind. Stretches the sanity of the mind. Oh. Okay. Let's have a conversation. I'm gonna come into the invitation and poke your your guardians. I don't know. I'm gonna poke all of your guardians. So much pokage will happen. Put you in there. Okay. Time for pokage! Oh, that makes me think of poke. Oh, now I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, I know at least one of you likes poke, and it is. Oh, it's so good. I think it's Hawaiian, actually. And that's certainly not something that is readily available where I am. I need to learn how to actually make it myself. Hmm. Okay. Did I... What did I do? I get, okay, they have extra fire and cold damage, but that shouldn't be enough to just destroy me like that. Oh, okay, well, first problem is I need to have my Bottled Faith on. That'll make me stronger. Second problem is that they're alive. This. Oh. Life is okay, so, so they're all out now. That's dangerous. Okay, I just need Dream to keep moving terrorists. because I can't deal with the Minotaur right now. I have to, like, kind of leave him alone, which means that I have to... I can't let him... He's going to be off-screen, inevitably, and when he's off-screen, he's going to dive into the ground, and there's a big risk I'm going to explode. Okay, that was a slam. Oh, uh, I don't know who that was. Okay, where is everyone? Minotaur's down there. <laughs> I have a, a full minute grace period, thankfully. Hydra's here. Uh, okay, where is everyone? Okay, there is the phoenix. Die phoenix, die, 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 die. Okay, phoenix is down! Holy shit! Okay. Mortal flesh is so fallible. Okay, I know you're around. Okay. Trim Minotaur's terrorist. underground. I need to kill the Hydra first. Minotaur slammed. Stop and kill the Minotaur. Chimera's less, less dangerous to me. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. 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 Where? Oh God. Where did they go? 
Okay, I see the Chimera. That's not who I'm worried about. There you are. No! Whew. Why was that so dangerous? Another round will commence as soon as I have more combatants. I will get you more combatants. Okay, I have a small treat for the people who've stayed through the entire stream. Or who are just here now. Either or. And that... No, no not that one. <laughs> Is... The Shaper. I'm gonna kill the Shaper right now, because... I mean... Thank you for watching. <laughs> it's a fun way to end things. Run along. So have to kill the four you won't escape me, little big. guardians. I don't know what to call them. There's like four map randomly chosen map bosses that are at uh, the four points that are not the guardians, but are guardians. I'm sure that made sense. Oh. There's an exile here! Why is there an exile here? Oh god. This guy's actually somewhat dangerous if he uses one particular attack. He's a laser that he can use. And it has fairly high damage. Oh. And this is Mervael. That's not going to be a challenge. Goodbye. And number four. This... Uh, look away if you don't like spiders. I need a spider warning graphic. Oh, don't run away from me. I need to I need to smack at you. Okay, it's dead. Time for the shaper. You force my hand again, little mouse. So be it. You've chosen to side with chaos. This is my world, and you he has wings. shall obey <laughs> my order. Oh! Oh! I forgot I had Uber set up! Oh fuck! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> the uber shaper oh shit <laughs> okay this might just be being stomped six times we will see teleport avoid the slam wait why oh no oh no Oh no. Oh no. I don't have it. I don't have my... Oh god. I don't have my anti-cold flask. Teleport. Okay. Oh no. Clone spawned. Beam. Why am I being chased by one of them? They're not attacking me. They're just following me. Weird. Um, I'm over here. Where are you attacking? Okay. I got him to 50% already. Maybe I can kill him. I mean, I've killed him once. Nothing to say that I shouldn't be able to kill him again. And I am stronger than before. If I die, though, I have to change my pantheon. I have to change the gods I, I'm praying to, because... My current ones are not set up for this because I thought I was going to do a normal shaper. 
And a normal shaper is not that dangerous to me. This was ill planned. Well, on the bright side, if I actually kill the Uber Shaper, it's much more valuable than killing the normal Shaper, so that is kind of nice. Or it can be more valuable, it's hard to say. Man, this is a long way. There it is. Oh no. Oh, I used my flask. I don't want to use my flask yet. Behold the face of your unmaking. Okay, are there it's any me. more Explody Let Balls? No. Obstacles destroyed. Man. Thankfully he didn't spawn his minions first. Teleport. Oh no. Oh no. Oh bullet hell. Ah. 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 Oh no. Beam. Oh double beam. No. Teleport. Holy shit, double beam and teleport slam. What is going on? Oh no! Holy shit, triple beam! I've never seen three beams at once before. That's terrifying. Teleport? What is he... Oh no, he's preparing bullet hell again. Get behind the corner. Ow. Ah! Okay. That's okay. That's fine. Changing my Pantheon. Uh, changing to Solaris, who's better for bosses. Changing Ghoul to Rislatha, so I can recharge my health flasks. Uh, I don't decide if I need my Jade flask or not. Uh, no, I don't. I'm going to swap it out for my Sapphire flask. Because almost everything he does is cold damage. So this will help a lot. Specifically the bullet hell. The bullet hell's awful. And this will save me. Also in the uh teleport? Oh, I teleported the wrong direction. Man. Unfortunately, there's also only for like five seconds uh grace period in the Uber fights as well, so you can't like cheese it in any way. Double beam. Mm, bullet hell. Ah! Okay, I really hate that attack so much. Two more lives. He's at 30% health. Okay. Got this, got this, I got this. He's there. Slam, teleport. Beam. No be Oh, fuck, he's already doing the bullet hell again. Oh, no, okay, good. Okay, it's because he got down to 25% health. He teleported me. Okay. I thought he was doing another bullet hell, and I didn't want to lose another life to that. Not that I'm guaranteed to lose a life to the bullet hell, because I do survive it now a lot more, but really hurts, and it's hard to counterplay. I find. I mean, bullet hells are hard, hard to counterplay in general. I do not understand the appeal of the genre. That's for sure. I don't know how many people here like to play bullet hells, but I don't. Okay. He's back up to 45%. But he won't teleport me again, at least. So if I can kill him from here, there'll be no more interruptions. Okay, he's... getting the... Uh, I'm getting buff from uh, Punishment. Ah, fuck. No! Oh. oh no, oh no. Beam. Okay, there is... he has both of his, uh, clones attacking. Nope! Fuck! Oh god, I teleported at the right time. Accidentally. Die, 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 yes! Wow, okay, so I've now killed the Uber Shaper twice! 
Ah, that was terrifying! I only have one life. I, I think this is... No, I think I actually have one life left, too. That's impressive. Oh, Shaper's Touch. Wand, wand. And the feared.